Welcome back to the channel, I'm OP, and in today's episode, we will be going over some of the best highlights between JDG and NIP during the upper bracket round two phase of the LPL 2024 spring playoffs. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. So, Flandre immediately gets onto the wave, wants to try and thin out as many minions as physically possible, or in fact, no, just trying to stack that wave so it pushes in towards him, but Juo now gets an opportunity to just find that route for free. Hook lands on in, good damage onto Flandre. Don't anticipate a kill at this point, but massive damage, and Flandre now going to be on the struggle bus. And Kanavi yeah. invading his own jungle, or if they try to prevent him from walking forward, doesn't seem like they're going to do it, but this, this sets up a dive. Shanji might get dived, but he did get the first CS of any top laner this game. Got a second one as well. Cannon is there. Shanji is going to go down for first blood and missing walks away with it as well. Rookie and Yagao trading heavily in the mid lane as well. As uh, Flandre still not a single CS. It's still going to be traded for a dive at the top side. <laughs> man, it is rough being Flandre. I mean, again, at least, at least he hasn't gone down. He hasn't given kill gold over like a JDG were, were able to pick up. But look, now with, with Rookie winning start in mid lane, having two lanes of Pryo that they'll be able to play with, and that'll start being more impactful, especially once we get neutral objectives spawning on the map, but junglers are running into each other. They certainly are. Aki versus Kanabi. Aki winning it out so far. Kanabi getting real low, and Shanji's here to help out as well. Kanabi, no flash after the dive, and it's a solo kill for Aki. Huge going over to Aki. I mean, it seems like Kanabi not expecting Aki to be in his bot side jungle, uh, ignoring the camps in his top side even still. Giving him that window where he's able to find the oh. solo kill. <laughs> Yagao just about gets away with his life. The Scorch nearly finishing him off. Sub 20 HP on that play. Rookie's flash now down though. Does mean he could be punished by Kanavi. Right now, both junglers are in the area. Actually, we have both three man squads being around mid. NIP just trying to make sure that Rookie's going to be able to push this one out. You could start moving up for that top side no way, so, uh, this this feels nostalgic to me the 2v1 lanes on both opposite sides of the map like this used to happen every game and like i mean my memory's no good for which season's which but it's like season four or something a long long time ago you see this all the time and now we're back to that once again as kanavi wants to set up a dive onto shanji the shield is there but it's not going to be enough missing half his tank once again <laughs> so low but he gets away with it and let's remember NIP have opted into this lane swap. NIP have done this lane swap before and have practiced this, but it's actually JDG playing it. They're trying to finish this one off. Shanji has got back into that bottom side. I don't know if he can defend this tower or not. The minion wave should be cleared here. So Ruler can't finish the job, but it means Photic will finish off the first tower. Yeah, so going to be a nice bit of a gold injection there for being able to get that one. But still, we expect JDG to be able to finish it off now. And now this is where it's going to be a little bit interesting with you'd expect uh bot lane duos either swapping sides or i wonder if they're gonna just end up lane allocating towards mid yeah. and start playing off these timers i mean won't have dragon for a few more minutes we're getting close to sixes where which is where jdg can really start proactively pushing into enemy jungle kanavi getting his now but when missing it's the enchanted crystal arrow will really be huge they're gonna completely deny this one jdg might be able to turn it into an advantageous fight they're going to try and TP for coming on through. Aki flashes to safety. Juo hooks in just to deny the engages. Shanji is 1v1ing Flandre on the bottom side of the fight. Rookie has moved in, has that wall available. It's, wait a second, missing. Did he hit the blast cone there? Knockback comes on through. Shanji still zoning as Juo gets low, and Aki has to dive in to save his support. Voting over the wall, but he can't really get any damage down. And Aki will fall. Flandre Ooh. flashes the rocket. JDG just about get ahead for JDG to punish you if you misstep. Kanavi moves in <laughs> and just steals that one away. Aki, totally none the wiser, unfortunately. And uh, this is looking a little bit like the mid game the TFs played against them, right? Just constantly poking and prodding your head into enemy jungle with the prios that you have, stealing away those camps and just maintaining that pressure and gold lead. Seismic oh. shove. It's not Kanavi picking, it's Kanavi getting picked. Nice flick back from Rookie and the follow-up from the rest of the team as well. NIP now with advantage on the map just as Drake comes up. This will be their second. Yeah, and they look at Shanji looking for the angle. Landre anticipates him. 
Vertex just getting onto the tower though. This is going to be a tier one taken for NIP. You'd expect, but the arrow lands, and it's an opportunity oh. for Yagao to knock it out of the park. Aki on the front lines trying to protect his team. Shanji just ain't tanky enough, and Rookie doesn't have their damage, or does he? Finds one. Ruler gets out with his life, and Shanji's still going strong somehow. The shield comes on through, but Flandre dives into the back line. Aki gets the knockup. Can they finish the Void Beast? The answer's no. Huge play by JDG, missing an Egal, being the ones to start it off, and Ruler and Flandre, the ones to benefit picking up those kills, and now Drake up once again. This is going to be JDG's. And it felt so good for NIP when they got that pick on Kanavi. It felt like the fight was over before it began. But JDG find the angle. One and arrow onto Fotic to start it off. Joel's here, Aki's here, but they're too late to contest. We did have the IE just finished, so at least now items being a bit equalized. Yeah. I think for NIP, a lot of it's going to be about starting things off the way they did last time, starting off with a bit of a pick yourself is Rookie's intercepted. Oh, no. Oh, what a blunder. Goes straight into the middle of everyone. Rookie, no way out of this one. As Flandre finishes the job trying to deny the siege, but actually just gifts over a kill. And it's small things Not like that. Either JDG posturing aggressively. Yakout does have his TP available. It looks like he is going to go for the long walk instead as Flandre tries to get into this brush. And I, I would think NIP should have a good idea. Go for the hook. Knock back. Another great arrow comes through. Photic denied at the start of the fight. Fate's called to save. Missing now is the front line being pushed away on the bottom side by NIP. Wall comes out from Rookie, but it kind of just separates Duo. Knockups coming on through. And Kanavi's caught out. The reset for Photic as Flandre keeps himself alive using his own ultimate. But three down. And JDG sent packing. Missing next on the chopping block. And the rocket finds his mark. Ruler doesn't get slowed. The cleanse actually misused there and he will survive the play NIP look to the purple worm exactly now NIP gonna be able to move over to that Baron rookie not even caring that rulers here also gets a mid lane turret off of it huge swing for NIP my goodness this game has been chaotic it's been close and it has been everything like, I all right you actually kind of leave Joa and Shanji sectioned off to still lose that 3v3, but right there from Rookie and Raveled Earth and the seismic shove gives Otik the ability to get the reset. Oh boy. We don't have a moment here. JDG grabbed themselves a Drake and NIP aren't happy about it. I don't think they can force a fight though. If Dwarves hook goes wide, it's really hard for NIP to get into the action. I mean, hell, the, the two times we've we successfully seen them find action are actually off seismic shoves, and it was about to be a third. Bit of a jump scare there for Ruler, but... Holds his nerve, keeps himself alive there. As the siege now in the mid lane, and you've got a jinx on your squad. You've got a Talia to deny potential engages. Feels good to try and siege Aki. As Kanavi goes in onto Foti, he's knocked into the action and executed by Ruler. Beautiful combo from JDG and Dwo. He's going to feel the brunt on the end of the play. It's ten on the board for JDG. JDG with the coordination to make the play possible. <laughs> it just looks so easy. You got following in Kanavi. Happening in the bottom left hand of our screen. Looks like someone on NIB being brought down. Flandre, he's That's got some Flandre. tunnels. Can he get out of this one? We've seen Rek'Sai get out of crazier situations. Shanji tried to chase it and <laughs> will finish the job. So a kill there, but what do they lose elsewhere on the map? Because Yaga onto a tier two. And the whole squad in that quadrant, so. If anyone from NIP tried to answer, there was opportunities it's, for a pick there, but it looks like NIP realized, hey, we can't contest this. We got our kill by. For JDG, it, it's three drakes already, and it's looking like it. Soul. NIP not contesting. Rocket comes through, and Ruler's Spell Shield just blocks it entirely. That is a cloud soul for JDG. This is Still like disappointment to me for either team being in this lower bracket game because of those two opponents. And also, whoever wins this one, they've got a mountain to climb later in the bracket. We'll return to that later because everyone, once again, as has been customary this game, posturing for a fight. Arrow goes through onto Dwol this time as Rookie. I don't know if he misused his Sonya's there, but Dwol's just going to go down for it. A bit of a weird one from NIP, and JDG are more than happy to capitalize on it. There's one pick. It's Flandre not quite... I wonder if that wall was meant to block him. Yeah, and now... Aki gets vision. They are just burning through this. Are they going to go for a 50-50? He gets in the pit. 
He doesn't get the smite though. Roller finding a kill and the Baron. Beautifully done. JDG now with everything. Yeah, JDG clearly not feeling too too weird about Aki being able to get in the pit when they do have the Callista with the Ren, but them not taking any damage, even in the contest, means that they just get to, to pick up with the waves and start pushing forward in a 5v4. This is McLean. Another arrow hits from missing, and Yaga follows it up once again. This combo is too damn clean from JDG. A beautiful setup and a beautiful follow up. JDG have rinsed NIP. I mean, their synergy is just so on point. They're working together so well to find those picks. And now NIP, I mean, going, going down in the first game, backs against the wall because of it. My lord, JDG, they had their way to mix this one. Hey. Flandre gonna have his work cut out, I fear. No mobility. That wither could be devastating for JDG. We'll see if Kanabi can be the carry, if Ruler can be the carry. But NIP, the ball is in their court in the early game. Both have opted into scaling lanes. So now getting to yeah. see the new look from JDG in game one and now NIP falling back on the Varsash. It's kind of nice and it's kind of uncharted territory for both sides in yeah. playoffs. Beautiful stuff from Photo Control. I want to quickly mention Shanji in the top side. Although I may not have time to talk builds because the Wither comes on through Flash immediately from Flandre. Gets a gold card, but Aki moves in, flashes to find the stun and sets up for first blood with the siphoning strike. They get their bot lane ahead. They get Shanji moving forward with this kill, trying to find as many advantages as they can. It's what nice. they can do with this composition because it's a comp that snowballs hard. And it looks like they're going to hope for some aggression on bot side. I don't think they can do much here because they haven't had any heavy trading coming out. But if Rookie's coming down, they definitely can. Aki tries to steal the Gromp. Ganavi did finish it. And he is level six. I don't know if this is a fight they necessarily want. Nice dodge from Rookie. On the Mantra Q. Yagao flicked back. Rookie is just destroying Yagao in the 1v1. However, it's not a 1v1 anymore. And his flash is forced. Kanavi pops the Grandmaster's might. Bit more damage onto Rookie will finish the job. And Kanavi answers the early kill top. Getting the kill onto the premier carry for JDG. It's exactly what you want to see. Now even going to be able to steal away some Raptors from the enemy. But... I like that JDG are constantly setting up these small traps because, like you said, Gold Lead not really being massively there. Uh, and Hell not being there at all for an IP. They're only CS League being in bot, but it's being equalized by what JDG have been able to find for Kanavi and Flandre. And these two are not stopping, man. No, they are not. Chanji. You know, it's one of those angles where maybe Merc Treads was the play because, my God, there's a lot of stuns coming your way. Shanji on the tower. Kanavi tanking for the time being. Takes a couple more shots, but Flash is the last one. And it means that that is a kill. And man, he plays on the top side. They've got six scrubs to work with. Ult in the bottom side leads to nothing. JDG, they're doing this beautifully in the early game. And I love that they ended up, you know, making this play, going for this push, because again, we lead over Shanji. Again, we saw this man come in into the Labo series after after six series being played with Sheer. A lot of questions were asked. He absolutely popped off against Weibo. Didn't have the, you know, the same series against Tez. His missing goes for the hook. Yagao's here, but so is Rookie Fotic. The target, if they can finish the job, but they cannot. Missing falls. Yagao is next, and they're trying to set up Fotic and set up. They will double kill into the hands of the virus. He's really open. That's when Flandre's life is going to be hard, right? There's going to be nowhere you can just run to it and feel safe. If the ghost gets down, you can't walk back up. Rashanji will just be able to run you down that, that elongated lane, luckily. Those turrets not being down just yet. Fotic gonna get caught out. No cleanse available either. The gold card sets it up and ruler there to finish it off. Beautifully done there as Kanavi jumps in just in time to get an assist. And I feel like, honestly, JDG, they have just read this game so beautifully. Exactly right. Even though NIP have... And I have to say, you know, we've been following JDG at top level for a long time at this point. Oh. <laughs> we do want to see strength from this team. I'd love to see JDG make it back to MSI again, have the opportunity to repeat, to defend their title. They need a solid win here against NIP if they want any chance against BLG or Top Esports, whoever wins their matchup or whoever loses their matchup, sorry, tomorrow. It's a nice buffer from missing. The follow-up CC doesn't really do anything from Aki. 
The rookie is looking at a different target now. The hook comes on in, and JDG with a counter punch. Aki the target on the front line. This Kanavi charged forward with the triple stun. He's so tanky, but finally goes Ooh. down. And suddenly it turns around again. And IP chasing for more, and four go their way. What a huge fight coming out from the ninjas in pajamas. It looked like everything was going JDG's way, but now they're going to get mid lane turret. They've already picked up all these kills and they're going to get themselves on soul point. The longer this goes on, the stronger that Nazus will get in a side lane. I'm getting a little bit nervous. I don't often feel nervous just watching League of Legends, but I'm so invested in both of these teams. I feel like I've really invested in all four of our top teams this year. I feel like they've all got Big names that you want to see at MSI, that you want to see succeed. Oh. Voting caught out here as Flandre flies into the play as well. Cleanse does nothing. As Aki gets over the wall, but Joel was caught on the bottom side. And that's two for JDG. And I love the way that JDG are adapting. They know they can't win in that sideline up against Anasis. So just create numbers advantage, find the kills. And now they're looking for the Baron rookie. Aki and Shanji going to try and interrupt. Got to see a miracle here, the hook, slightly wide. Good dodge from Rookie as Aki is forced away. And back to the back wow. go JDG, no. In fact, backing away, not confident to go for it. They pulled off too far, right? They, 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 it, it, looks, it looks like they're conceding. Shanji's just gonna solo this while the rest of NIP zone people away. They're gonna trade for a tier two in the top side. I'm not 100% sure whether it's worth it or not. It is one of the weaker souls, but like I said, the, the chem drakes given healing and shielding power helps the Nasus. The uh, reduced damage at low HP helps as well. Destiny out to safety from Flandre as Rocky tried to punish with his own ultimate. And now JDG, they jump straight onto the barrack. They want to punish NIP. They got to do this fast because now they don't have the destiny to you know see where everyone is if a fight breaks out to try to have the advantage. He doesn't have ultimate available and he's CC'd up. He can't get into the pit. Baron taken. Rule is the one that gets it and they lose their support. And now an arrow lands straight onto Yagao as well. He's got no flash from the previous play and he falls to voting. It's two and a soul for Baron. So a huge flash. Only the heal being used there on top of Shanji's TP. So some summoners should have to be used. So nice aggress coming out from JDG, but definitely went better than, uh, than it probably so could have. I've got a little update for you because I've realized that I'm a fool. Uh, Dagda has took me a DM and he saved my skin here. It was Flandre's ultimate that popped the spell shield earlier. It's a really great coordination, punishing the misposition from Fotik. He's in the destiny. Rookie sidesteps from the hook, has the flash available, but I don't know if he gets a chance to use it. Barely gets away from Yaghaus Q. JDG, we're going to see how much more they can push with this. Flandre. Still having that ult available if NIP decide to over-aggress. Knockups onto missing. He's tanky. He walks away. Aki has to flash on out of the players. Ruler slowed down. And NIP is slowly but surely pushing for this one. Kanabi goes down. It's a one-for-one. One. It's Ruler on the front line now. But Rookie has re-entered. And Shanji's Shanji. on the flank. This could be huge. And a flash from Votic sets it up. Double for the bot laner of NIP. And Shanji comes in to finish the job. Beautiful fighting from NIP, and they show they're no slouch. Of, of moving forward, you do essentially have two crit 80 carries for JDG, right? So the DPS is there. But yeah. the question is if you'll really be able to use it between Sejuani ult, Wither, Enchanted Crystal Arrow. Speaking of, good buffer from missing, but now the virus all lands as well. Knocked back from Rookie to try and keep himself safe. Has to flash over the wall. And the Flandre. Is hello, Flandre is cleaning things up. And NIP, it's looked so good, but it's falling apart. Shanji trying to 1v5 in the middle of everyone, and he just can't do it. Flandre with a triple, and JDG oh. shutting NIP out of this series. It's an ace and an unofficial quadrant kill for Flandre. Flandre heard the haters after last series and coming in with a great game. JDG are on fire. Who needs Elder Dragon? Certainly not JDG. 30 minutes on the clock. Down in kills, but up in games in the series. 2-0 now as JDG soar ahead. You can approach gank angles with those tunnels. A lot of creative options going to be left open. And once again, JDG have an absolute ton of DPS between two crit AD carries and in Azir. NIP, it's a lot more about the, the mid-game explosion they could have getting prios early on. With Gold the on either team. It's a tie to start us off. What a novel idea. Not see many ties at level one, and Shanji doesn't want to keep it as a tie.
So Andre chased away. Ghost for Ghost there. And Aki gets onto the chickens here. Just trying to deny Kanavi in the early game. Rek'Sai so weak at the level one. And NIP want to punish it as Juo moves over as well from the top side. The lane swap up there as Kanavi's trying to get onto things. The knockup goes wide though. Kanavi one HP flashes and Aki takes first blood. Yagao answers though. As Shanti went down two. Oh my god, it's tense to start us off. Honestly, I feel like JG should feel content with that one considering that they had less members on the top side. Oh no. <laughs> they want to they wanna catch up Landre too. Okay, no. Trying to find more. Missing. It's going to be there. Aki goes into the jungle here, but he might have gone too deep for this one. Draw in the area. But there's a gold card. Missing. He'll follow up. There's not a huge amount of damage here, but it's level oh, one, he's, so he's it doesn't gone. really matter. He's stuck against the wall. And it's another free. <laughs> NIP, just like last game, right? Trying to find so much through their 2v2 with the aggressive picks that they have, but JDG really just have not been a team to give over opportunities. Kanabi wants to dive in the top side. Flandre does just take a bit of a punch in the face from Shanji, who starts to run away, but the flash from Kanabi to get the knock up doesn't quite set up. Flandre Ooh. will tank a tower shot, and he goes down one for one. Well played, Shanji. Shanji ends up getting one. You did deny a lot of CS, but it looks like Kanabi. Oh, oh Rookie flashes to. for it. He wants to finish the job. Beautifully done by the NIP solo lanes. JDG finally denied a play. They deny the play, they find kills themselves, and while that was going on, Aki was even able to pick up One. the first... Shanji's in lane. All normal fair so far, it feels like. Rookie slides on forward. Flandre, can he dodge? The flake back from Rookie. The stun comes on through. The follow-up is there, and Aki grabs the kill. Now diving the bottom side, but the double knock-up comes out from Joel, and missing forced away. Kanabi underneath the towers. Ruler surviving. Jo barely any HP. It looks good for JDG as Ruler grabs another. So we see teams making aggressive plays on opposite sides of the map. NIP able to get something going in topside, but JDG just enabling Ruler even more. Gonna be able to deny. As, uh, immediately, Shanji wants to change that fact. He goes in onto Flandre. No summoners available. Ghost about to come up for Flandre, and he might have to use it immediately. There we go. Stun, not quite in range. Shanji keeps on chasing this one down. Kanavi arrives on the scene, but I'm not sure that Shanji cares, but he should, because Flandre's walked away. Oh. Shanji chasing for more. No way, he actually gets it. Shanji finds a solo kill, and Kanavi's three levels down. I'm not 100% sure if he wins this 1v1. Doesn't even have his ult. Yagao and Aki arrive on the scene. Shanji walks away. An absolute daylight robbery is yeah, a hot So Kanavi moves back in. We'll be able to finish this last group off. So JDG grab two for themselves. This is the four of NIP. And NIP getting four grubs as well as that first Drake is a good start when it comes to objectives. The problem is they're a thousand gold down. Yeah, and both teams actually wanting to fight Wait. over the scuttle. We're still going to oh, force the flash away. <laughs> Yako just dives on in. It's a bit of a massacre so far, but Shanji wants Ruler's to turn it alone. around. Still four strong for JDG. No way for Rookie to get into the play here. And Shanji just ain't that tanky. Yeah, Juo gets the knockup. Yako there as Rookie's behind enemy lines. And Fotic dives on to Ruler, but Ruler is too tanky. He survives and now dives forward. Juo to fall as well. And everything going the way of JDG. Gaming! Kanavi finding the action, setting up Ruler to really take over Yigao, doing similar things that we've already seen on the Azir with the Emperor's Divide. And sadly for NIP, it's uh, looking a little bit muted. They might be able to find Flandre once again, but we've seen what is even finding kills on Flandre really even turn into? The game. Look at the items. <laughs> the Look at the items. Up at 14 minutes into the game. He gave three of a best of five. I mean, it's just something else, isn't it, JDG? They want to keep themselves alive in the bracket, but will they be able to? The CC chain is good onto Ruler. That's one kill. Shanji with a shutdown, but it's only one kill for NIP. Oh, JDG thinking about going back in. They need to be careful. Rookie is Weaver's Wall. Would really be able to make up the distance quite easily. Not even going to need it. And actually be able to make his way over now. Ruler went down though, so main carry not here for JDG, but they don't seem to mind as missing looks for an engage. This time he's flicked back, forced to flash away. Damage coming out on Flandre against three players here. And Kanabi diving in for more, but Aki's on the plane. Kanabi's gone a little bit too deep for this one. Perhaps a chance for NIP. A second kill as the Weaver's Wall comes out from Rookie. But oh. Yagao just puts him into the team. Another mistake punished by JDG. Yagao sacrifices his own life to make the play happen as Flandre gets a cold card out. Hook comes through from and here comes Ruler to turn the play again. JDG, no matter what, 
They can't be stopped. JDG charge underneath the tower and Ruler finds his reward. Man, JDG are feeling it. These look like the type of plays you make when you're 2 0 up and you are just feeling incredibly confident. And they actually. But, like, you know. You always see the coach talking to the players after the draft is done, and you assume that they're talking about different prios and the kind of thing we're going to take in the end of the game and this sort of stuff. I feel like the entire conversation was give no quarter. I don't care if they've got a better early game composition. Fight them for everything. And it feels like it's Ooh. been working for JDG. <laughs> they were they were really <laughs> hoping to chase NIP the down. Hex splash, the advanced hex splash is back. <laughs> We actually saw we actually saw uh, Yagao jump over the one. I thought, oh, they really want this, but just gonna end up committing for the Herald, trying to get information on where NIP is to make sure they're doing this one safely. And ooh, we'll see if this opens up a window to fight. Yeah, Definitely he does. Just has his own TP, so could be a switcheroo here. Missing, caught out, and just accepts his fate there. I'm not sure he had a choice but to accept his fate, to be honest. Aki grabs that kill. The Herald taken though. They are still, you know, three, almost 4K down. Gonna try and find a huge play on mid. To die from both sides. Looking for the dive for the knock up star line. Ruler with a cleanse. The blast code pulls him into the danger, though. And Ruler falls once again. NIP finding yet another chance. The mid lane wave not quite under the tower, so they can't finish the objective yet. And it will mean that they back away. No, moving back into the mid lane here. Can I be trying to defend it? Pryo in the mid lane with Yagao's passive. I like Rookie going off to the angle. He, he did manage to pick up the death caps. So we're gonna have a lot more damage. Knock up, Skalor onto missing, but the aftershock keeps him alive. And Kanavi's onto the back line, missing, walks away with his life. Is Aki threatening as well? But Aki's gone too deep. Both junglers taken down. And now we're in an even position, missing solo on HP, but some of the carries on NIP. That's the big thing, right? Like, missing's low, but Fotik being one of the ones to take big damage in that last fight. NIP still feeling confident. Rookie might surprise them. Nice flick back, Flandre chunked out pretty heavily! Ooh. And Rookie flashes for a solo kill in the middle of the fight! And now the Weaver's Wall, his ruler will be the next target, trying to get out with his life. Yago trying to save his AD carry, but there's nothing to be done! Double for Rookie as he takes to the stage! The all-star of the mid lane keeps NIP alive! It really feels like we might be overhyping this guy sometimes, but he is consistently making these big hero plays for NIP. It's good to see they were able to translate it into a team fight win and into a soul point. They're finding Mojo right when they need it, Bunch. And it feels so poetic that you see Rookie making a pop-off play and then Juobazi recalls Bowland signature <laughs> appears once more. We're back to 2018 Rookie right here today. Six, two, and four on the Talia, making the plays to keep NIP in this. I love it, makes his way around. JDG not gonna expect this to come through again. The seismic shoves today, it, he might be down 0-2 right now, but his seismic shoves have been gorgeous. And then he keeps just following it forward with the rest of his squad there to make sure that the kills are able to go through. We're gonna see Yigao try to do his best to make sure that they can get away to safety, but with Rookie denying that path with the Weaver's Wall, there's just nowhere they can go. Beautifully done. Rookie grabs a triple, and what a moment for him. Desperate to test some of that vision. Yeah, at least, at least get again a defensive vision line down in their own jungle, but they're going to be punished. Missing the target, another great hook out from him, but it's not going to be enough. The aftershock keeps him alive for a moment. The ruler just doesn't have the damage to answer. A great pick for an IP. And now Destiny being used too, so they can actually just peel onto this Baron, and you're not going to have to worry about that, that vision tool being there. And now JDG forced into such an awkward situation. Feels like they've been the ones doing the Baron all series long now. An opportunity for NIP Aki to start the fight. Flandre, the target for the charm, lands onto Ruler. He dashes out to safety, but abandons his other carries. That's two as Fotik dives into the mix, but he's gone too deep. And Ruler's set up now. Shanji chased out of the jungle alongside Kanabi. Ruler dodging away from the knockback from Rookie. And it's enough to stop NIP doing Baron. And it's so sad for NIP. I mean, the one Both guy... This is full carnivore rookie with a death yeah. second item, like the polar opposite approach to mid lane right now. Mid lane prio, though, in favor of JDG, and Drake is spawning. NIP would love to get this soul. You can see JDG not being too stressed about it. They still have Flandre pushing up in topside, but you would imagine after this push, start making your way oh. down. 
Another flick back from Rookie. Big damage coming out from him. Konami looks for the knock up for Rookie. Flashes Flandre's behind enemy lines, but Rookie turns golden and keeps himself alive. Flandre the target now, but he turns golden. And JDG trying to stay alive, but Ruler's taken down. NIP keeping the dream alive. Yago will fall, and that's Infernal Soul. And NIP finally do it. They finally put JDG in a desperate enough position to where the team fighting didn't look clean. The cohesion wasn't on point. The amount of stress they put on them was huge. Now look, actually in the base. I mean, Rookie very specifically in the base of JDG before turrets even going down. Yeah, are they going to end the game right here? It's a really staggered death timer for missing. They've got five seconds till Konami's up. Ten seconds on Ruler and Flandre. They've got a minion wave and they've got a Tristana. NIP are just going to end the game. They're desperate to finish this one off. Konami wants to get Tess, but denied by Aki. The tower's full. Ruler arrives, but it's too little and too late. NIP keep them selling across the board for JDG. And NIP once again with a more proactive side of things thanks to that Talia, thanks to that Nocturne. A level six is going to be big for both teams with these junglers. I mean, the, the name of the game is going to be proactivity for NIP, right? Can just uh, start making their way down to start up this Drake. Wow, Rookie, Rookie already here, Weaver's all. Wall. Ruler and Missing could be in trouble. No flash available for Missing. The hook doesn't land on the wall either. Knock up after knock up after knock up. And Missing will fall. First blood for Photic and NIP start strong. And we've seen many times that Rookie's willing to give up waves in mid to make these plays. Does it here? He's managing to flash out of. But crucially, it's oh, been really the forge punished. Gone. Maybe we get it punished this time. The baby cage sets up the knock up. Look at the combo. Out from JDG cannot. Harvey grabs the kill. I'm so happy to see Flandre doing this too, so, because just making sure that the mites don't go through. And again, with the composition that, that might be able to, to start inching ahead a little bit sooner than JDGs are already sitting at a 1K gold lead. I think denying those mites, uh, if those pushes do start coming through, is, is a huge swing for them. And now you expect JDG's bot lane to probably sit up here for a couple of waves before they rotate back down before the next dragon spawns. And <laughs> I'd be hoping to find an angle where they could punish the Aki being incredibly patient. Shanji trying to clear some vision, missing steps on in. Knockup chain comes through, missing low on HP, but straight onto Ruler. Aki dives, Shanji along with him, and Ruler not long for this world. The Queen of the Void takes the kill. And now looking for more as Rookie flies into the play as well. They're snowballing the fight like crazy. NIP, they want this early lead. Flash comes out, Baby Cage, to defend the jungler. Great use of their window to make the play happen. The, the patience from Aki before looking for it now. Again, pushing the gold lead further even more. And <laughs> spreading is going to start getting oh. out of hand. TP coming through. It, oh, I thought it was Flandre. It's not. It's Yagao. Flandre's on cooldown. Shanji is actually about to come off a cooldown. You don't want to commit to this fight, JDG. There we go. Shanji going to use his TP. Knockup lands onto missing. The flick back is there. Not only will they get the Drake, they get a pick on top. NIP really getting everything they want from JDG in this game. Their backs were against the wall and they're making it work. Izaki not even going to give a chance for that one to go over. Oh, there was a ward. Kanavi tries for it. No flash available for Kanavi. He's sacrificed his life. No, maybe he's got onto Fotik. I don't think anything's going to come of this one, but I'm wrong. Daki dives in and Rookie arrives. The Avengers have assembled and Yagao is Thanos in this one. Snap your fingers to that. Ends up going down. NIP find another one. I could empathize with what Kanavi was going for, right? Because if you can even deny one Great, of these, JG aren't going to shy away from fights. But Rookie's <laughs> much. <laughs> we might get another one right now. Aki doesn't have his own ultimate. Trying to steal it with a Q. Herald taken and missing. Spell shield on the hook. And the Ornhorn horn goes wide as well. Rookie corralling into the mid lane. Ruler. Oh, that's, <laughs> that blue ward saving his life there. Rookie's desperate for it. Flashes and finds Ruler as well. The cleanse does nothing and he's taken out of the picture. Shanji tanking for his team as Photic is untouched. And NIP just annihilate JDG to go through for Photic and into the mid lane they roll. This game is snowballing out of control so quickly. 15 minutes and we're already up to about a 5k gold lead like time. There's
has been he's been able to be a consort a consistent source of damage for his team in this game and and that's what that's what nip need him to be able to do and i mean it does become a lot easier when you have so many people on your team jumping to the Wait, back to go right back to it prio through the uh through the titanic hydra there just one shot in the mini wave almost nip peeling off once more as Kanabi spotted on a ward denying all vision is missing might have stepped a bit too far forwards here needs to be a little cautious Oh, rookie just got spotted out. Oh, the flame pack doesn't land and they flash on to it, but the Sonyas is going to protect him. Almost all the CC denied, but the baby cage is enough. And now a knockup denied from Shanji. Crook tunnels away. It's a pick, though, onto Rookie. A huge pick for JDG. And that was the discipline that we, we were talking about. Keep pressure onto Rookie, but still, you just got to. Uh, it feels like Aki, Shanji, these guys are such a big problem for Ruler. It's going to be really hard to enter. And look, Rookie's still playing off to the side. Rookie's been caught out here. Does have that Zonya's available once more. Ornhorn lands onto the AD carry, though. Aki is just diving onto the back line. He's gone too deep on his own, though. Missing, traded, in kind as the rocket flies through. Fotix still alive, and that's who you've got to keep your eyes on. Kanabi dives onto him, but he falls. He's not tanky enough, and Dwell survives on the opposite side. In they go as Shanji finds more. Four for Fotix before he falls, and Shanji finishes the job. And I be coming out on top once again in the team fight that matters. Now even going to be able to get their hits on the ocean soul. Not quite deep enough in the brush. Won't matter. Fotix still clears that vision anyway. Missing tries to move in. NIP start this Baron off. Playing with Fog of War. Trying to set up for something. Missing. Takes a chunk from Rookie. Using that Aegis just to keep himself healthy. Look at all the angles that NIP are playing in this fight. Like Aki's far off to one side. You have Joel threatening another flank. Rookie waiting in the wings. So many different things that JDG need to worry about. They're so ready to dive onto Yagawa Ruler the second they get that opportunity. Then NIP peel off of the Baron in the end. Joel takes a chunk and here we go. The dive comes through. Shanji is behind everybody. Aki gets into the mix and he's just one shot. Oh. The Crypt Bloom gets a healing as well. The Ruler's down as Ruler. Uh, rookie pulled in. Kanabi next to go and Fotik is untouched this entire time. Joel with a knockup to protect his AD carry. It doesn't matter how good it looked to start off with. NIP, they demolish JDG. And Lyric, I think we might just be going to five. <laughs> NIP pulled Pulling it back, really dismantling JDG and showing them, hey, you need more presence in the early game. You cannot allow us to have this much freedom. Phenomenal early game, phenomenal mid game from NIP and punishing this draft from JDG. We do not want any more draft adaptation. Thank you very much. That's enough cooking in this kitchen. NIP push us to five on the brink of a reverse sweep. We go to Silver Scrapes. And again, the story would be than last game in my mind, having uh, some laners that are, are gonna have an easier time and have more self peel and defensive tools available to them, as well as Kanavi now, finally getting his hands on the Zijao. Then after such a chaotic series, we got a game five. Listen to a gank bot if, if they stay extended for too long. There is a ward in Tribrush, but realistically, does that save you? Summoner's going to be used here. Dwell with the aftershock keeps itself alive. Forced to flash. Now Ruler trying to escape. Ghost already used. Flash available as the knockback onto missing blocks. Aki forced to flash himself and is followed. Fotik dives in and Aki gets first blood. They're able to find one down in bot. Sadly for Ruler, not enough feathers to get out to try to find a root under tower and maybe equalize it. It did look a little bit dicey. So now the potential for a gank from JDG to take advantage of that is open. We know Yagawa's going to be able to keep pressure up in the mid lane. Rookie going to have to be a little bit more conscious now that he doesn't have a flash. So I definitely think for NIP now having the ult on the Vi is going to start allowing for some of these kill threats to come through. We can even see him invading on the top side. Missing just about diving away there. As uh, Aki has found Kanavi in this top side. Obviously, Shanji knows summoners or anything, but I don't think it matters because there's no flash. And Shanji finds himself his first kill of the game. And honestly, NIP, they make the P and no equalizer. Yeah, so opportunity for Shanji to get some tower plates. And he's just going to hope that the rest of his team uh, is on board with the fact that this is not a Drake that they can contest. There's a wave under the tower in the bot side as well so you don't really anticipate much coming out from nip here however fantastic 
They're still looking. That control ward reveals that Flandre's there. Surely at this point you don't fight, but maybe they do. Hooks go in. This is a 4v5 that NIP has started for themselves, but Shanji has roamed on down. It doesn't matter though, because Votic's already gone. One for one now as Rookie chased down by Flandre. Shanji just going to burn him up, but Flandre's so difficult to finish a kill on. The flash for the knockup, the dive on in from Draw, oh. and he actually turns it around. One for one from Flandre. Yeah. Deliver on it's this. And then you have the scaling to match with things like the Corky and the Zero. You have decent ways of preventing dives with that equalizer, like like we just saw. Like there's a lot of tools with what JDG has, but Rook's speaking of dives. Rookie's in trouble. Knocked under the tower. Tower immediately eradicated. And it's an easy, easy pick for JDG. Rookie really overset me. And I like it too, right? They had actually hoped to make this play only a minute ago up against Shanji. Wasn't able to come through because of the equalizer. Doesn't expect JDG and to just like commit to being able to find that pick. Or if you need it for Peel, I feel like the Rumble one is even more significant to NIP's draft than the Emperor's Divide because you still have other ways to, to make things happen. Knockup comes through onto Aki here as a hook lands onto Kanavi as well. NIP not going to give up control. Remember, no equalizer here, so Shanji doesn't have a lot of his powers missing. Gets the knockup onto three and gets out with his life as well. Shanji trying to chase, but in the meantime, Ruler's on the backside. He's flanking on Zaya oh. and he's making it look good. Fotig chased out of the fight, dashes oh. on the wall, but Ruler is having none of it. 1v1, me bro. Shanji now chase out the bottom side of the fight. His Yaga wants a little bit more as well there's nowhere for shanji to run jdg individual playmaking turns it on its head i am so impressed ruler there running two of them down aki and Fotik. he was left by himself but he was still able shanji to rookie is going to be key let's see if they can lay down that red carpet rookie with the package available as aki tries to threaten some of this vision control nip Losing Pryo off mid, but still trying to hold on to river control anyway. They have some poke there with the Corgi Hell, even the Zarya a little bit. That's what they're trying to rely on for now, but nothing has been connecting on the JDG. Draws pretty far forwards there. Does walk over towards the rest of his team. I think we might just 50 50 this straight, to be honest. It's 3.5k. Is in they go to start the fight. Keep your eyes out for the package here. As everyone dives in, Aki onto the back line as well. Everybody diving on, but Rookie's been found by Yagao. One for one now. As two go down, but it's a mid laner for support. That's pretty damn good. And at this point, dwo has got nowhere to run to. The shield comes through at the last possible second, but it's Flandre to finish another JDG. The team fighting is too much once more. And now JDG, Flandre, clearly gonna be the one to finish off Otik. But you can see Pink's coming out on the opposite side for no. the Baron. So. Yagao yeah, basic auto attacks. It's, it's Again, just too much. In the, in the same spot too is the best part. Now everyone from JDG running up to Baron. The team fighting is there and look at Yagao, 6 0 on 2 on his ear. Again, the carries of JDG finally it's showing up. His equalizer is well. equalizer? Uh, package. Uh, pretty They're much similar. is. They're very similar. <laughs> but now 10 to 6. Massive gold lead off the back of that 5,000 in favor of JDG. Ruler has been found, still has that flash available, looking for Aki, doesn't quite get the feathers, but the damage is there anyway. And Aki just about gets a heal from the Sundered Sky. He walks away, knock up lands. Can they finish the job? Finally, Flandre knocks him down and missing gets out the bottom side of the play. Rookie and Fotik protected by Shanji here, but dwo has been found on the opposite side. JDG, they're picking NIP apart. They're keeping their opportunity alive in this bracket. Missing, surviving the onslaught from Rookie as Kanavi zoning Fotik away. I love what JDG are doing. Like you said, zoning them away, running them down, just giving them more time to open up the base. How far did JDG want to push it? They want to keep going much? JDG have won the last three splits of LPL, and they will not let this be the moment that they're denied. They can't quite finish the game just yet. Mid inhib taken, one Nexus Tower taken. JDG sent away, but in a much wave clear with this composition that realistically without Baron, it's very difficult to take any towers so long as Rookie is there. And especially if Shanji feels the need, he can drop an equalizer. We'll drop that equalizer, but it just doesn't matter. Oh, and now Yagao flies in. He wants this series done with. Yagao has been phenomenal today and he sets up yet another play. Nymero was saying earlier, Yagao is a...
He's had a cigarette and a Red Bull, and he's ready for more. Aki forced away. No mana to work with either. They can't dive underneath the Nexus Towers, but that'll be a top in-hip taken. We're looking towards three in-hips here as Dwarf Falls. Forget the in-hips. They want the game. Rookie is next. A double for Kanavi as they push onto the fountain. Rule of force to ult, but it just doesn't matter. Fotic barely survived as Flandre tanks the fountain laser. Ruler dived on by Aki, but the gang arrives to protect their AD carry. Game five wins out. JDG, they want to defend their titles. JDG showing again. They are they are different from the rest of the... These were some of the best highlights from the LPL 2024 Spring Playoffs matchup between JDG and NIP. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.